it's interesting. One of the things we talk about porn, but people who watch porn, they're watching it and they're like, oh, you know, she's just into anything I want. She's going to change her body. She's going to do any position I want, the human centipede, whatever it may be. And then they get out there, they say, hey, what's up? I'll, you know, I'll bang you. What Sorry, I was trying to half go English accent, not but anyway, uh, switch halfway. But then they get rejected. They run back to porn. Then they try one more time. Then they run back, run back. And soon they've just gone down this rabbit hole of just, I can have any woman, any way I want, any time I want. And they're seeing I can have it any time I want. They're being fed that. But then they're getting ED, which is something that I struggled with a ton very early on after watching porn. And it's like, hey, how you doing? It's like, she wants to move things for you. Like, oh, uh, I, 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 don't, I don't know. So you're in this weird complex of, yeah, I'm this huge ladies man, but I also doesn't work. And you're freaking out and you're thinking she wants to be slapped around in the bedroom because that's what I've seen online. And, and, and don't do this that. is a crazy one. 90, what was it? 96% of aggression against women is received positively in porn. Was or that right? neutrally. Or yeah. neutrally. And so it's like, whoa. Yeah, I went to the AVNs, like a porn convention. Yeah. All the guys there, so, uh, yeah. Sorry, so what? <laughs> Wait, all the, go ahead, all go the ahead, guys go ahead. there are super, like, aggressive. Super no, 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 quite quiet, usually. Oh. Quite, mm. like, introverted, are very, like, nervous to speak to you. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Can I speak mm. to something, PG-13? Sure. When you're watching OnlyFans, when you're watching porn, they wish that they were there and you, they wish that you were theirs, right? And they're sitting in adult word, the cuck position, right? They're sitting on the side of the room watching something happening and they're sitting there and they're feeling, uh, I, I should be a real man being with that woman. And I, I, I should, be, and she wants it, but, but then, I, then they're getting ED thrown on top of it. And then you're at the porn convention, the sex convention, and they're going, <laughs> it's like, that's your shot. If you're going for that, you know, and. They're, they're so scared. And so it is one of those things where even people come up to us, it's like, should teenagers not do that? And it's like, yeah, we should teach those kids how to talk to girls in high school so that way they become adults who know how to talk to girls instead of just pressing a button. And their body can literally handle it if they have a wet dream, right? It's like it's built into the system if they really needed to. But, you know, sometimes people say, well, if a kid is 60 days and he's, you know, he's like, got to get off. Well, that doesn't happen because what happens is, well, it's kind of soft when he's getting going. And then he starts having some thoughts and then he starts thinking about, well, maybe I should watch some porn. He watches porn and it just teaches him, reinforces it, reinforces it. And one is of the it bad for you to wank? Um, uh, not to wank, though. Uh, well, I think you should be using that energy positively in a different direction. So like we we're talking about learning how to speak to girls because that is driving you to... I want to have sex with this person. I want to, so they need to think I'm a normal person, not, <laughs> you know, not no offense, but just, I like your skin. You look like my sister, you know, a little <laughs> bit, you know, it's like, uh, they need to learn how to talk to them, right? And so if they're scared and they never do and they never learn it, and then also just using that energy to just build skills, especially at that young age. And so Beck and I, we were lucky, you know, we were pretty young when we got married. We were pretty young when we met each other. How old were we? 22, 24? 20 when we met. 20 when we met. 22 so yeah <laughs> i recently did like a porn scene where the whole scenario was he hasn't had sex in like six months and i was like are you not gonna explode like is that not really bad for you and then obviously we got into the Nice. <laughs> but I, like I find that, that funny that I thought it was really bad for you not to work. Yeah, like blue balls. <laughs> is blue balls uh, real? The body's yeah. just going to take care of it. Yeah. You're going to be dreaming. You're going to be thinking about it. And really, if it you really is that much, you don't have to. I really you know? don't. It's honestly, at that young age, it's healthy because it, it, it builds certain like emotions or it, what what's the word hormones so it releases certain hormones and things like that however it's healthy in moderation when you do it continuously that's when it then becomes unhealthy word uh, okay cool wait what about <laughs> you said something about oh the, there's something about avn and like something about uh the, the, there's they're shy, the shy vi life. violence in the porn they're not or something yeah. no, no they're, I, they're, they're they're not they're not violent but there's this uptick in like violence in uh, adult content and also i found in relationships i don't know what happened in like 2014 all of a sudden y'all wanted to get started get choked i don't know what happened <laughs> yeah 2014. Shades of fucking tumblr never, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Shades of i never it had 50 shades of, 50 gray. Shades of gray. Yeah. i never that had a girl happened. ask me to choke her and then all of a sudden it was like overnight it was an epidemic it honestly. was just a switch uh, girls all of a sudden wanted to be choked i'm like it kind of feels good, um, doggy. I'm not going to lie. There is a direct correlation <laughs> between people who read Fifty Shades of Grey and they are in, they are much more likely to be in an abusive relationship. Oh. Yeah. Also, yeah, it really got normalized. I don't know. Is, are, are we saying that 
that there's innately <laughs> wait, hold on, hold on. I had a friend <laughs> where I got bloodshot from getting choked too hard <gasps> yeah oh I was like girl what happened to your fucking eye and she was like oh we did it too hard I'm like what but like, the why, why? it she does interest it. me like so Fifty Shades of Grey was like one of the best selling books for is it of all time I don't even know the movie was insanely successful mm-hmm. it occurs to me that a lot of women seem to be attracted to these sort of like uh, Machiavellian dark triad characters. And uh, it's just something to think about. I don't know what's, well, uh, what's I, going on there. I think a lot what's of going on there. Women, <laughs> women have bought into the idea that they are objects. You know, we have, there was a study recently done where 91% of men watch porn on a regular basis and 60% of women. So this is not just a man's issue. It's not just men watching porn, but so much of porn, we say 88% has aggression against women in it. Well, when women are watching that, what is that teaching you? Is it okay for someone to be um, aggressive to their partner in real life? Are we promoting that? Is domestic violence a good thing? No, well, absolutely not. Stories. But in the bedroom, you guys, when a, a couple connects on a different level, and obviously in moderation, you're not going to be choked out, obviously, but it's like a little... Moderately slapping them. No, not... not <laughs> like, kind of a little bit of a tug or a little uh-huh. bit, like, kind of... It's yeah, like spices things up, not like beat the shit yeah. out of me. The, oh, thing, no. the thing that we're talking about is... <laughs> and, the wind. and this is how crazy it is, is 88% of porn scenes contain for violent aggression, uh, slapping, choking, hitting, spitting. When I read that stat initially, I said, what violence? What violence is important? I don't even understand because I had been watching it for so long and you go, that's just normal sex that was going on. And it, how crazy is that? Just hearing that. But then when I stopped watching porn, what was amazing is not that it was Fifty Shades of Grey in the bedroom, but it was more about power, getting off all these different things. Our whole routine, if you will, completely changes about love, connection and intimacy. It was just a beautiful thing just getting to experience that with Becca for the first time. And we were three, four years into our marriage and it's like, oh, this is what it's supposed to be like. This is awesome right here. And in college, I was one of those people who read Fifty Shades of Grey, and I was like, you know, I can see why people were wanting that because it's like, um, because it's like I'm viewing, I'm, you're making it this sexual thing to be treated like an object, call it whatever you want, but you are making it a sexual thing. So then you seek that out. And I did seek that out of like, hey, you know, choke me or do these different things. And then I was like, gosh, why do I feel like crap after this? I feel like I'm not being respected because I think we're designed to want someone who caresses and cuddles and kisses us tenderly and not slaps us and you know, you comes could, on your face. You could get the cuddles <laughs> after. Uh, you some well, women do care. get the, the yeah. You 